the Bayou Teche, La Fourche, Plaquemine, Nez Peak, Kalilou. The waterways of southwestern Louisiana ring with the names of their Cajun past, and traveling along them is to return to a place of primeval splendor, of timeless serenity. Jean-Louis and his cousin Gabriel, working out of a slender, thin-hulled craft called a pirogue, gather crawfish from the bayou much the same way their French-speaking ancestors did over two centuries ago. These Acadians, or Cajuns, driven from what is now Nova Scotia, Canada by the British in 1755, settled in remote parts of the French-speaking Louisiana Territory to begin a new life. It wasn't easy. This brackish backwater, more suited to the alligator and water moccasin than man, took its toll in being tamed. The graveyards echo with the names of settlers who struggled to give their families a leasehold on a new life in a strange and forbidding land. Chenette, Le Blanc, La Crosse, Artaud, Billot. But out of this adversity came both a resilience and a proud sense of independence, which have protected and preserved the people a way of life. But the Cajun children were given more than a leasehold on the land. Their inheritance was an attitude, a special way of looking at things that would mean more than mere existence, more than material possessions. From their grandparents still speaking their uniquely accented French, from their parents, ridiculed for many years for being different. Their children now make their way in the modern world with a unique heritage, a gift. For in Cajun country, it doesn't matter what you do, whether you're a fur trapper, fisherman, or work the oil rigs. What matters are the bonds of family, fellowship, and the love of life as you find it. For no matter what you are, you have the gift of life itself. And as the Cajuns say, all you have to learn or remember is to pass the good time. The Cajuns know how to celebrate the communal good times, too. Be it the launching of the shrimp fleet or a successful gathering of animal pelts, it's a chance to get together, to acknowledge and commemorate the passing season. The very pirogue they use in everyday life is celebrated each year in a mile-long race along the Bayou Barataria. For the racer, a possible moment of glory, a test of keen paddling skill. For legend has it that the narrow pirogue will capsize if a chew of tobacco is shifted too vigorously from one cheek to the other. For the spectators, race day is part picnic, part fair, a time to gather together again with the cuisine, tante, and all the other relations from the parish. But for one and all, it is a day to appreciate being there to share in the fun and festivity of a sunny afternoon, a Cajun jour de fête.
Tomorrow there'll be the cares and distractions of the ordinary world. Work to be resumed. But at a fade odo, a Cajun all night dance, what does it matter? For life is to be lived without struggling. It flows on, quietly, steadily, sustaining those who flow with it with a simplicity, felicity, even grace. <laughs>